Freemasonry is an all-inclusive organization. Atheists are permitted to join through the Grand Orient de France branch of Masonry. Other Masonic lodges merely require the belief in any supreme being. Freemasonry spans a variety of ethnic groups. Historically, it has fostered trust and cooperation between members of different cultures, races, and religions. There are Masonic lodges in many parts of the world, including Europe, the Middle East, China, India, the Americas, and Africa. Lodges even exist within the military hierarchy of many countries. For instance, the U.S. government allows Masonic lodges within all branches of the military. Masonic symbols and landmarks are strewn across almost every continent. From the Masonic obelisks in Israel, Paris, Washington, D.C., Vatican City, and London, to the Freemason Rothschild-funded Israeli Supreme Court, with its massive Masonic pyramid complete with an all-seeing eye at the pinnacle, to the Masonic temple in Forest Hills, Ohio, which was made possible by Rockefeller estate donations, to the lodges located within the former British colonies of Hong Kong and India, to the Masonic layout of Washington, D.C., the Mason-donated Statue of Liberty, and the symbology on American money itself. No one can deny that Freemasonry has infected almost every country on the planet. Based upon such criteria, Freemasonry could easily be the organization behind the push for world government. There is also abundant historical evidence that the Freemasons have used their power for nefarious purposes. Freemasons were behind the murder of William Morgan, the Jack the Ripper murder cover-up, the French Revolution, the plot to kill Archduke Ferdinand, plans for world wars, judicial and police corruption in the UK, and the Mafia-related activities of the P2 Masonic Lodge, to name a few. Interestingly enough, the ruling body of Freemasonry never accepts responsibility for any wrongdoing. Instead, they devote all of their energies to deflecting bad press and denying involvement in any activity deemed harmful to the organization. Masons have proven to be some of the most accomplished liars on the face of the earth. Freemason oaths to aid and assist any distressed Freemason and never reveal anything related to the Brotherhood when given under a Masonic sign, except in matters of murder or treason, are mostly to blame for their numerous deceptions. It is important to remember that Freemasons did absolutely no charitable work until after Freemasonry was banned in several U.S. states around the year 1830 for the organization's involvement in murder and conspiracy. During this time, American Freemasons essentially went into hiding 
and voluntarily closed lodges to avoid condemnation from a rightfully angry citizenry. In 1870, the Freemasons quietly reemerged and created the Shriners, whose focus was to be fun, fellowship, and charity. The Shriners branch of Freemasonry was designed to put a good face on the recently besmirched organization and nothing more. Today, the Freemasons continue with their nefarious plans while using the Shriners Children's Hospital as a defense mechanism. In the end, this strategy is no different than the mob operating a soup kitchen to garner support. It is both deceptive and pathetic. Based upon years of research and a careful process of elimination, we are now confident that Freemasonry is the driving force behind a world dictatorship. We are also convinced that there are no good Freemasons. All members are fully aware of the organization's many trespasses over the centuries, as well as their treacherous oaths, yet they refuse to resign. Unlike most taxpayers who only pay a fraudulent government to avoid lengthy prison sentences, all members of Freemasonry willingly donate money to the Freemason organization and are therefore complicit in the activities of the whole. We encourage the viewer to produce anti-Masonic videos, websites, and spread this message by word of mouth. You may also wish to hold protests outside your local lodge. Freemasons hate bad publicity and they deserve every bit of it. Your hard work and dedication can bring about the downfall of the abominable Freemason Mafia. We are seeking a worldwide ban against Freemasonry and life sentences for all 5 million or so members who refuse to resign. A Masonic database of names and faces must be compiled. These men and women must not escape justice.